that's cool. Well, I'm going to do a vlog as well because well, Brenda's always talking and I'd never really get, seem to get a word in edgeways. And, um, well, Ted, you know, I, God, I really want to watch Ted's vlog just to see what he actually, what he's actually thinking because so often you just can't, you, there's no expression on his face. He's just sitting there and listening to Bruno. Does the guy have an opinion? It's like he's his pet or something. God, I love Ted though. He was pretty cool. <laughs> but when he eats all the food, that's not, that's not cool at all. Sometimes I come home and I go into the fridge and it's actually like Ted has been sitting in the fridge all day and just eating the space around him. Anyway, um, he's with Bruno and I love Bruno, so... Did I just say I love him? Well, I suppose I do. Yeah, I do love Bruno. We've been together for about, well, 18 months and three weeks now, which is cool. We met um, at this crazy party. It was a friend of mine. It was, it was a good night. I just remember Bruno sitting in the corner of this room with Ted. Um, Ted wasn't instantly wearing his pants. He was, I think he was probably just wearing a t-shirt or something. He sometimes just wanders around in his pyjamas. And um, they had this big fat joint and I was coming down a bit. So I really wanted something just to sort of level me out. So I started dancing next to Bruno just to see if I could get him to notice me. And um, he suddenly starts feeling my ass. I was like... What are you doing? Anyway, um, I managed to get the joint for me and my friends, so that was like mission accomplished. I just ended up talking for the rest of the night. I mean, obviously, I think we were both a bit stoned, but got on really well. Went home with him that night and never went back. Never went back to my old life. Not that, not that I miss it that much. I guess things were, were, were tougher before I met Bruno. Um, I was dancing before. Not, not the sort of dancing that I'd always wanted to do. I mean, like, even when I was a kid, I said I wanted to be a dancer. I never specified. Maybe I have kind of, like, fulfilled my dream somehow. I don't know. Um, yeah, I used, I used to be a pole dancer. No shame. Well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I wanted to be a ballet dancer. <laughs> so I guess it's... It's not really the same thing, but hey, I still managed to make money out of what I wanted to do. And I don't have to do that anymore. Not now I'm with Bruno, which is cool. Um, we do live off his dad, it has to be said. But only to a certain extent. Um, Bruno's dreams, really actually not looking forward to Bruno fulfilling the dreams because when Bruno has to get a job, I mean, what's he gonna do? Let's be realistic. I mean, the guy can't even make cook himself dinner. I wouldn't employ him. Well, apart from as a hooker or something, because I mean, the sex is great. <laughs> Maybe he should do that. Actually, no, I would really mind. Really, 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 really mind. I don't get jealous. It's just like... Like the other night, we were out at this club and suddenly this girl starts dancing with Bruno. First I thought she was looking at me, and that doesn't happen that often, but sometimes I get girls coming on to me. First I thought she was looking at me, she starts dancing with Bruno, and God, I just felt like this pain in my stomach, and it just like grew up through my body, and I just actually wanted to strangle her, but somehow I managed to get over it. <laughs> Ended up getting with Ted, so that was interesting. She obviously must have been pretty fucked because to choose Ted over Bruno, I mean, Bruno's gorgeous. And I can say that because I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. 